My name is Crystal Rodriguez. I'm the owner of HodgePodge Coffee House over in East Atlanta. And we're excited to announce our second location opening on Georgia Avenue in the Summerhill neighborhood. I came to Atlanta in 2002 to go to school at Georgia State. Uh, I got my degree in sociology and started working in nonprofit. I uh, had my first daughter in 2009 and stayed home with her and just wanted to figure out what I wanted to do with the rest of my life. I had always been in love with the idea of doing a community space. So two friends and I got together and started up the idea of HodgePodge. Um, before we opened, one friend left and my mom came in. Thinking of a name for a business is actually really difficult and we sat around for days trying to figure it out. Um, eventually, we were talking about how can we figure out a name that kind of reflects who we are and our friends and our family and just what a big hodgepodge we were. And then we thought, well, why don't we just call it hodgepodge? And it kind of went from there. Every day we have people walking in from every walk of life. We have families, we've got kids, we've got young professionals, we have college students, and it's kind of awesome how they can all be in the space and all kind of think of it as a second home. Everything that we serve in house. So we roast our own meats for our sandwiches and we make all of our own baked goods. Uh, so our menu is actually kind of extensive. Uh, we also have monthly art shows that we do. Uh, we have a comedy show every other week. We have an open mic that once, that's once a month. So we really wanted the space to be sort of a community space where people can gather and be able to take part in different events. Everyone is local, as in within 20 miles of the city. So when we first opened was being able to um, help promote local up-and-coming artists, but being able to give them a space that was, you know, clean, well lit, and that people would be able to see their work every single day. So we were able to do that with our gallery space. It's a thousand square feet, and we switch out our art once a month. And then we have our merch wall, which is all local artists, um, all local merchants, and we switch that out quarterly. We have one artist who was an Atlanta artist, Bongang, and he moved to Nashville and he was nice enough to come back down and help us out with that. So I live over there um, and you know, I'm a Jersey State alum, so it's pretty awesome to be able to kind of go back, but also to be able to give back and be able to invest in my neighborhood. One of the amazing things about Atlanta is how much people are committed to their neighborhoods. And I think that in Summerhill and over in Chosewood, people have been really invested, but they haven't been able to reinvest in their neighborhood. And I feel like Georgia Avenue is going to give us that chance to be able to invest in local you know, shops and restaurants and really be able to enjoy our neighborhood day in and day out. We are always trying to look at ways that we can help our neighborhood. And one of the issues um, over here in the Ormwood Park, East Atlanta area is that there's not a lot of walkability when you just want to go and pick up something really quickly. Um, you still have to kind of hop in your car and go to Kroger. So what we're doing is we're transforming our 500 square foot living room area into a market. So that way, you know, people can come and pick up random sundries, but we'll also be able to support other local merchants and be able to put their stuff in and almost be like a year round farmer's market. We would actually like to expand um, in the second location and have it be kind of a bigger space. So, um, I don't drink coffee. I love making coffee and I love the ritual behind coffee and I love people's passion behind coffee. I love the community that's grown around coffee. I don't love the taste of coffee. So you drink tea? You drink I drink a lot of tea. And uh, luckily we were able to have a partnership with Just Add Honey, which is another local company here. And we have a private label through them. So we have some really fantastic loose leaf teas.